One of the reasons small businesses find it hard to maintain coverage is affordability. If pooling risk is part of the solution, what other kinds of reforms uh, should we be discussing that will help move us in that direction? Well, uh, uh, going back to sort of the, the core issue and what caused the abandonment of our small group program, it, it was variability in state regulation, particularly mandates, created so much complexity. We have that group had uh, probably about 2,500 employees in 40 some odd different states. So we had a lot of states where we might have 15, 20, 25 employees and having to write unique coverages with unique, unique rules in, in that kind of a program just drove administrative costs up. So if we could figure out a way to make state regulation more consistent, I mean, one example that, that I think probably added no value was um, uh, at one point we had eight different rules to administer as to uh, the age at which and the circumstance at which dependents had to come off the coverage because there are eight, nine, ten different state rules on something as simple as that. 18, 19, 20, full-time student, part-time student, and, and just the complexity of managing that with a relatively small group across multiple states is, is, is a real problem. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Rodney. Uh, we are working here, both in the House and in the Senate, on a stimulus uh, package that will have uh, uh, the goal of getting the economy back on track. And to get this economy growing again, we need to create jobs. And of course, we all know that the backbone of our economy are small businesses that create uh, all the new jobs, between 70 to 80 percent. In yesterday's uh, New York Times, uh, there was a story about how small firms were choosing between laying off workers and providing health insurance. So with the current economy, how have uh, the additional costs of health coverage affected your ability um, uh, to hire or provide additional wages to your workers? Um. I think I'm uh, probably the luckiest guy in the business world right now that I'm in a business, the pet business, that has not gotten whacked with, with the recession. Mm -hmm. um, so I have, I have not had to lay off people or, or to deal with that. What I will tell you is that every person that we look to hire, um, we're now at the point where we want to hire a part-time person so that we don't have to pay the benefits, especially in light with what our state wants to add on on top of what they already added on. So uh, I'll speak for a few friends of mine who have small business. They literally have uh, laid off people um, solely for the reason of the health insurance. And they've laid off some, some uh, people my age, so the rates are even higher, and they just, they just couldn't do it, or they cut their hours to, to part-time. And um, it's, it's happening. Yeah. Um, Mr. Clark, to a lot of people in this country, you know, uh, when presidential candidates were running, uh, they were discussing health care reform as an important issue, especially for small businesses. Um, but now we're dealing with uh, the economic um, uh, crisis that we are facing in this country. Your film not only provides medical services, but you also provide insurance uh, to many small firms. Can you talk to us about how health insurance coverage can be critical uh, to the economic well-being of this country? Uh, I think the answer we just heard a minute ago is, is uh, the most important one. Um, because, because of the layoffs, we're seeing that in our communities, layoffs with small business. Um, one of the things that we do is we sit down with the small employers and look at their health care costs. Uh, we do a health risk assessment on their employees to uh, help them determine what their issues are, and then we try to provide programs for them to help, their, help them keep their employees healthier and then help them keep their costs down. Thank you. Um, now I recognize.